What's up guys, my name is Super Cho. Today I'm gonna show you how to stream on your PS4 using Streamlabs OBS on your PC. Let's go. So guys, first thing you're gonna need to do is uh, download your PS4 Remote Play Windows and of course download your Streamlabs. Now I'm gonna show you first how to use the PS4 Remote Play on Windows PC. Basically guys, with this, you're gonna play on your PS4 through your PC so guys this is for your PC so before you're using the PS4 remote you have to do first some settings uh, for your PS4 we're gonna go through them actually right now first you have to enable actually the remote play that's for the settings we're gonna do that right now activate the system as your primary PS4 and start the remote play while playing PS4 system is in rest mode so let's go through those uh, settings right now alright guys so I am in my PS4 so those are the first settings you need to do. You need to go to settings first and then go to remote play connection settings and here you can enable the remote play. You click on enable over here and that's the first thing. So the next thing you need to activate your PS4 as your primary. So again you go to settings, you go over here to account management and activate as your primary PS4. It is activated, there you go, I have it activated, so you have to do the same right now. And the last thing you need is the power save settings, guys. So you go again to settings, you go to power save, there you go, the power save settings. Set features available on the rest mode, you click right here. Then you click on stay connected, you know, to the internet, and then enable turning on PS4 from the network. And that's it basically, now you can use the PS4 remote, now I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright guys, since you've done all those settings to your PS4, now it's time for your PC. After you download it, go on your desktop, there it is, PS4 remote play. You click on it twice. So there it is, connect a DualShock 4 wireless controller using a USB cable or using a DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter. That's to connect with your uh, PS4. First you have to turn on your PS4. That's the first thing you gotta do. You gotta read it up. Do all the settings I just showed you on your PS4. And after that you're ready to use the PS4 Remote Play. So now you connect it. Here we go. I'm gonna connect it with my controller. And there you go. Press the Options button on the controller to start. So basically guys, when you, play, when you press the Options button, it's gonna ask you first to log on into your uh, PS4 account through your PC but that's not a problem when you do that you're ready to go so then you click options and there you have it I'm connected to the PS4 and that's how you start playing and recording my guys so now guys it's time to show you how to use Streamlabs OBS first you need to download it after you do that you go to Streamlabs this is the icon right here you click on it I have already opened it so there you go that's how it's gonna look at first so there's a few things you wanna do uh, you go to add a new source and sources it's right in the middle you click on that plus over here those are the widgets which uh, it can help you out while streaming so first thing you need to do is I'm gonna show you what I use but I prefer display capture especially when you use when you're Especially when you're using PS4 Remote Play, so you're gonna need that display capture. So let's click on that right here. Add source. This is it. Done. This is how it should look. Yep. You can see everything. Alright, the next thing you're gonna need, the next source you're gonna need is uh, probably the audio input. This is basically microphone. Add source. So I have a microphone blue yeti so I'm doing that so there you go you should have your microphone right here on this tab over here that's how you're gonna use your microphone next thing if you have a webcam you're gonna use a video capture device let's add a source add source Logitech HD how you doing guys <laughs> done that's basically the first part how you can set it up so now what else I want to show you Alright, you can use Teams over here, but that's why you gotta log in into your um, account. That's why you gotta log in into your account on YouTube or account on Twitch. It 
it doesn't matter. It just uh, you need to log on into the account where you do stream. So I'm gonna log in into mine right now. Let's say I wanna go to YouTube because I stream on YouTube too. So basically guys, now that we're here, we can put more stuff. Let's go to add new sources. So now you have more more stuff in here. I usually always place the alert box. That's when someone donates, when someone subscribes or follows or whatever. You can add that source over here. It's gonna be really helpful. All right, let's get it done. It's gonna be on your screen. You can make it small because this zombie is big. <laughs> I can show you. It can show up really big on the screen. So uh, we're done with that part. Now we can add a new source over here. What else do you want to buy? Usually what I what I use is a viewer account. You can add a source, which is a viewer account. So let's add that source. So here I'm on YouTube. There is it. You click on YouTube viewers. Done. And you should have it. There you go. I don't know why. Up. Oh, there you go. It's showing now. You can make it as big as you want. You put it somewhere on the screen. Just like that. All right. All right, now basically those are the settings that I use. Now here comes the fun part. You go to themes over here. So for most of those, you're gonna use Prime, but we're not gonna use Prime. We're just gonna, on the search bar, you type free. Yep, and now you're gonna have all the free overlays, cool overlays. So let's see, I want mine to be red, you know? I usually like red, red is my color. So I'm gonna actually find my overlay which I use on my channel. There it is, this is the overlay that I use. So you click on your overlay. You click on install overlay. So you basically wait for it to install. All right, here we go, this should be, oh good. So now you see stream starting soon. This is actually a pretty cool thing. But what you need to do is go to live scene. Now this, that's how it looks. You can see my face cam over here. You can see everything. Over here, uh, this is your name. This is the header name. That's where I click my channel name. All right, now you're done. I can adjust it in the middle, just a little bit like that. That's it, perfect. So, you also have a new follower. I'm going to change it up to a new subscriber because I'm on YouTube. But when you're streaming with Twitch, you can change it to new follower. You can just keep it to new follower. So basically, this is a new subscriber. I'm going to keep it like here. This is the new subscriber. You can make it as big as you want. You can make your name as big as you want. Just like that. It doesn't matter, it's up for you to decide. You can move your overlay, which is crazy. You can adjust everything you want. Now, first thing you need to do is get that background out of here. So you click on background, you click on remove. Right right click on it and then remove. And now my, uh, <laughs> my display capture is not here because of this. So you might want to add it again. It usually happens. So again, add source, display capture. Yeah, now it's gonna show up as your top. Once you do it, you see you go to on sources, you hold to display capture, and you drag it all the way down, and bam, that's it. You're ready to stream now. It's time to show you how to stream with your PS4. All right, so this is not nothing complicated. So you just basically go over here, click on PS4 Remote Play. It's gonna check for updates, I'm already ready. You click the options. And there you go. You should be good to go. You have everything you need to stream, you know, output. This is how you start your stream, basically. Now I'm gonna show you, I forgot to show you how you start your stream, you go to live. Over here, you go to live. Since I uh, stream at YouTube, I'm gonna show you actually real quick how this works. You go to your YouTube channel, you go to YouTube studio. That's about how you stream with YouTube. I'm going to show you with Twitch real quick too. You can go to over here, go live. That's where you decide what settings you want to use. So I usually like to reuse settings, but you can dismiss and do a new one. But in any case, let's say I reuse 
this is it this is the settings that you're gonna show you can put up a title put up a thumbnail you can create that let's say we create it so this is it there's no need actually to copy your stream key everything is is ready so you basically just go again on your stream labs like I said go live this is the new event that you put a GTA 5 online because I stream on GTA confirm and go live that's how you start it now with twitch with twitch is the same thing you just uh, you just have to go to your twitch I'm gonna show you real quick you go to your channel you can edit it from here I'm sorry it's on Bulgarian so basically this is what I use you go over here to edit this is the edit button I'm sorry it's on Bulgarian that's over here the title the tags everything that you want to do click ready and that's it again you go to go live start a stream but this time with your twitch account which you're gonna log with your twitch account here I'm logging to here I'm logging with my YouTube account and that's why I use my YouTube stuff so okay guys this is basically it this is uh, this is basically the video really hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for watching this is going to be it for me guys bye bye I'll see you in the next one